Happy Friday, Gators! Welcome back to GNN, your one-stop shop for all things Gateway High. You got that right. And guess what? It's a long weekend because we have Monday off. Oh yes, a much-needed break for sure. Hey seniors, listen up. There are two important forms you need to tackle ASAP. First, double-check the spelling of your name on your diploma. It might seem early, but those orders need to get in soon. Second, it's time to submit your cap and gown info. You can find forms on cafedudec.com or, or scan the QR code posted outside room 235 on the main office. Seriously, do not wait on this one. And for all you theater lovers out there, auditions for the spring musical are happening on October 12th. Even if performing isn't your thing, you can still join the fun by getting involved with the theater club. We'll have the Google Classroom code for you at the end of the show. Attention all skiers and snowboarders. The Snow Sports Club is on the lookout for student leaders to help out run the club this winter. If you're interested, stop by the AIM office and talk to Dr. Pottinger. The first meeting is coming up fast, October 16th, in the AIM classroom. And if you're hungry, today's lunch special is Italian Dunkers, a personal favorite. Sounds delicious. But before you run off to grab lunch, let's go check on weather with Scarlett. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. It's looking mostly sunny today with a high of 69 degrees and a low of 36. A perfect fall day to enjoy the outdoors. All right, now let's see what's happening in Gator Athletics. Take it away, Scarlett. Thanks, Tanaya. We've got a big game tonight against Woodland Hills. The student section theme is pink out tonight, so make sure you decked out in your spirit gear. Also, Coach Hall wants to remind you that the student tickets for tonight's game will be sold only during lunches today. They're only $2, but students, you can only buy one ticket each. No tickets will be sold at the gate, so make sure to get yours at the school. And don't forget about the Gateway Varsity Hockey Team's Pink Out game on October 14th at Palmer Imaging Arena in Delmont. It's their first home game of the season, and they're raising funds for a local cancer warrior. So come out, wear pink, and support a great cause. Thanks for that, Scarlett. Lots of action tonight and a chance to get back with those Pink Out games. Let's go, Gators. And as we're ready for the weekend, don't forget that October is both Breast Cancer Awareness Month and Mental Health Awareness Month. This week in particular is Mental Illness Awareness Week. It's a great time to check in with yourself and the people around you. Absolutely. Taking care of your mental health is very important. Now, on a lighter note, fall is officially here, and you know what that means. Pum pumpkin spice and everything in the spooky season fun. Yep. For all of you Halloween lovers, stay tuned because every Friday we'll spotlight some of the best haunts in Pittsburgh. This week we caught up with Hannah Prost and Jacob Williams about Kenny Wood's Phantom Fall Fest for our Fall Spotlight. Be sure to check it out for some spooky thrills. to prior seasons now. Uh, Why should people come to Kennywood? Uh, it's a family fun park. A lot of people have come. It's been around for a very long time. Uh, for Fall Fest, it's kind of scary and when it turns into the night and we have fun, family-friendly stuff happening in the morning for little kids that are scared and don't want to come to Fright Nights. All right, in your opinion, what is the scariest ride? You mean scariest haunt? Yeah. <laughs> I would say the Vampire Villa, which takes over the arcade. That one's the scariest. That sounds terrifyingly fun. All right, Gators, that's it for today's announcements. Have a fantastic weekend, Gators. And remember, no one beats a Gator. Stay tuned after the pledge for a special Flashback Friday where we take you back to 2018. You might recognize a few of the faces. 
just to make sure you take pictures of everyone. Now, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Middle school. Today is August 28, 2018, and day four for our weekly schedule. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Attention students, this Thursday evening is Meet the Teacher Night. We hope to see you there. What's for lunch today? Today you can enjoy Italian Dunkers with dipping sauce, winter veggie blend, salad, and pineapple tidbits. Second choice this week is a hot dog. Tomorrow you can enjoy rotini with meatballs. Now for today's weather. It's going to be pretty hot in Monrovia today, with a high temperature making it up to 89 degrees. There's a slight chance for rain. I am being optimistic that we will have outside recess. Enjoy! What, what happened, happened on, on this day in history? history? On this day in 1877, Charles S. Rolls is born. He would become the co-founder of Rolls-Royce. And on this day in history, in 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. speaks to about 250,000 people attending the March, March on Washington. It is now time for Daily Fun Facts and Trivia! Who, who invented the first emoticon? Dr. Scott Feldman, in 1982, this Carnegie Mellon professor invented the humble smiley. If you didn't know that, well, well now you know! Word the word of the day, day is debonair. Charming dressing and acting in a sophisticated way. Example, he looked debonair in his new suit. Quote of the day. day. Don't stop until you're proud. Well, that wraps up another edition of the Maasai Middle School News. Have a 